Welcome back to my channel. Today uh, we will have a look at Open Manage, Dell Open Manage Upgrade. Why? Uh, because this is the component which manages my ESXi servers and I am using that along with vCenter to automate update of firmware. So I'm using um, the plugin called OMEVV uh, and thanks to that I can in one go update ESXi and hardware. Okay, but what happened is that my version of OpenManage is 3.12 I believe, anyway it's version 3 and the plugin doesn't support update 2, so it doesn't support vSphere 8.0 update 2, it support only up to uh, update 1. Hence, I need to update Open Manage to version 4 before I will update my ESXi. Now, normally you are looking for something which is called in-place upgrade. So you just like apply the package, upgrade package and it's done. In this case, it's more complicated. And as Adele stated on the website, from version 4 onwards, there will be in place upgrade. But right now, what we need to do, we need to install second version. So I have my old appliance, version 3.1, and now I have to deploy the new version 4.0. And what we need to do is to migrate services. And now I never done this. So you will see what I am doing and you can follow along. Um, so let's see, let's start upgrade of open manage. So as you can see now, uh, this is my new application. This is the Open Manage version four, and this is my old application. We see some uh, servers, uh, some warnings, some uh, alerts. Now, very important thing is that you have to have your certificate in order. So to migrate, from version three to four, either you have to have a self-signed self -signed certificate on both machines, or if you have your own CA, if you have your own certificate, make sure that you add chain as well to the certificate, okay? So I will show you in a few seconds. So first of all, you have to log in as an admin. And if you log in as a user, you will not get this tab, Backup Restore. But if you log in as an admin, you get this tab, and then you go to tab called Migrate. And this is very important. So this is the old application. So we're doing Migrate Out. So let's check this. And you can see that my certificate is okay. It's checked on green. However, <clears throat> if there will be issue with your certificate, you will get an error message and you will get a chance to upload new certificate. And there's a two options, you upload certificate and then the chain, okay? Now, the chain you can get from that certificate actually. And I will link the video how to do it uh, in this video description, because I showed you. The one thing to remember is, in this case, because I already tested, to get a chain as a P7B format. So once you extract the chain from certificate, you have to check this and make sure it's this .P7B format, okay? Otherwise, the system will not accept, it will not accept SER, it will not accept CSR. So it has to be P7B. 
OK. On the new appliance, if we go to the same tab, Backup and Restore, we click on the Migrate, you see that certificate is OK, and it says make sure you have followed the Migrate Out export process on the source console. So let's follow the process. OK, so step one, certificate, done. Step two, set up target console. OK, so we put the IP of a our new uh, instance. And we put credential for administrator. Click validate, success, and apply. Now we need to prepare for migration. So now it's very important that appliance will be put in the maintenance pending state. So during this state, all new task scheduling will be suspended. Only backup administrator will be able to log in and all the post APIs targeting this appliance will return with 403, which is forbidden error code. Okay, no operation can be performed at the console during this time. Once the maintenance state is reached, the import operation can be initiated by the target VM. Encryption uh, passphrase, so we just need to figure out some kind of passphrase. What do we want to do with the running task? Uh, complete task, I will just go for terminate because I know in my environment there's no critical task running right now. But if you're not sure, you can check complete running task before running export of operations um, and then plugging dependencies in proper state which is okay I click apply okay and now logging to target console and follow instruction to migrate in import okay so let's have a look so this is a new console migrate in step two Set up console, okay. Enter the IP and credential for appliance being migrated from. So we put the IP of the old appliance. Validate connection source, okay, validate connection. Okay, and now import, raise report. Okay, let's have a look what we have here. Check for migration readiness. The readiness report is automatically uh, retrieved from the source appliance. The readiness report must be complete without warnings or errors to proceed with import. Okay, I have the red, but what, okay. So what is said that source appliance not ready, not in maintenance state migrate out step two three must be completed okay so we will take this in the uh, we take uh, care of that in a few seconds but we'll see now that open manage is in version 310 and we're going to 401 and the rest of them we will we are okay okay so We can't put phrase because this is not in the maintenance state. So let's have a look why. I bought migration. Appliance is in. Okay. Okay, so this task is running. So we will wait until it's finished. And from. It should change from maintenance pending to maintenance and then we will start migration okay so i uh, i will stop the video now and we will come back once that is done so the task finished 
but it failed and ran it again and it's failed and what we can read from it is that pre-check complete everything is complete plugin processing failed now success 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 now open manage enterprise integration for vmware vcenter which is the plugin failed and what concerns me the most is their connectivity service fail with exception unable to get access token from this dcs so as far as i understand from the documents is that the plugin uh, has to be enabled for this migration to go through however i think that i will unregister my vcenters from it and then we try again but this is something which i think will require the uh, help from the dell i read on one forum that they need to clean their connectivity services i don't know bear with me uh we we will sort this out for sure a few moments later okay so i just unregister my vcenters from the plugin on evv plugin um because this was the plugin which gave me an error as you remember um so let's see now if this will go through so let's go back to migrate and again we need to put a password basically password encrypted password passphrase uh, so just a few seconds i have that prepared okay let's apply the settings and let's have a look okay so this is this job but currently the one job before uh, as you can see that their connectivity service is successful uh that fix itself i don't know um but as you can see uh om evv uh, failed and failed everything else is successful but this that's why I unregistered this center because I think that was the cause. So let's have a look uh, if that will go through or again will fail. And it failed again. A few moments later. Okay, this time it looks like it's uh, going through, but this is the thing which I changed to terminate the jobs. And you see that we have there are one job still in running state so i think it is terminating the jobs now so hopefully this time we go through because now we can see that open managed integration successful um, so yeah let's see let's wait and let's see okay no jobs found in running state or previous running jobs okay so this this is looking good <clears throat> and finally after what one two three four five after five attempt the sixth attempt was successful okay so now i think we can um migrate in yes okay let's have a look okay let's there you are is it's ready now we need just to have a password uh, which we set up in the old one now require available we have okay perfect so all looks good so let's click import ah 
you have to click on the link and then accept and click on the link read it through obviously read it through and accept and now we can continue by clicking yes okay and the process started um so yes i think we we, we, we success so what is my takeout from it um i thought that the plugin which serves my vcenters can be moved in the state it was but it makes no sense really uh because we we want a new plugin as well so anyway um the, my solution was to unregister vcenter from that plugin actually vcenters uh, i had a five of them and then it worked so um yeah there you are guys um let's have a look let's wait until that finish and if that will be successful the next step would be just add the devi centers um i'm wondering if there will be new plugin already available for uh, for us or do we have to download the new plugin uh yeah we will see once that process finished a few moments later i left the instances for the night uh, yesterday and today i came back and we can see this on the screen which this is my new appliance and i can see the alerts and the devices uh, and what's going on on the old one so it looks like it worked uh, let me log in can we see the same okay so we can see that this task was completed okay and yeah clean up yeah so all good as you can see appliance is a maintenance maintenance state okay so we are ready to decommission this guy this is version 3 and welcome uh, version 4 now what left to do is to install the plugin um, the omni ve omni vve plugin uh, let's have a look which version is that it's 1.3 i would have to check if that's the version we want uh, uh, what plugin was on the old one uh, One point two. Okay, so we have a new plugin as well, guys. So as you saw, that's how it works. And as you can see, I don't have a perfect environment when everything works like straight away. There are some errors and mistakes. As you could see, uh, how we were lucky. I was lucky to resolve it. Uh, I honestly don't know uh, what was the first error about. Um, but the one is sure, and it's not in the documentation, that you have to unregister your vCenter before that uh, migration. Guys, this is it for this video. Let me know if that was something uh, which was interesting for you. Let's discuss this in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click notification bell, and see you in the next video. Bye.